Were you waiting for the new Leica Q343? You're in the right place. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thomas Love here from Lake Como, Italia. And today we are still discussing these leaked images for the new Leica Q343. Why 43? Because it's having a new glass 43 millimeter f2 apo Summicron. so we used to have a 28 mil Summilux. now we're going to have a 43 Summicron f2 apo so great great news because this is a focal length that everybody were all been asking like for a while because we know fuji had this great success with the 35 mil but like uh, they were down to 28 i loved the Samilux 28 f1.7 that i had on my like q2 i loved it and they loved the capabilities to crop in because with this definition you could eventually crop into 35 or 250 eventually even 75 or till 90 with the q3 with no great loss i mean it's a digital crop of course but it helps you if you wanted to have a longer focal length while this 43 millimeter 43 it was exactly the diagonal so when shooting 35 mil with film this is more or less what your eyes see so the the wider you go wide because it's out of your sight and closer it's a tele lens but 50 mil is to be considered already a tele because 43 mil is the real distance so 43 mil is exactly what your eyes see with the naked eye so this is why leica invested in this new glass which is an apo glass semicron and by itself a glass like that would cost you would take 8500 dollars while this q3 43 is supposed to cost around 7500 dollars so uh, we'll be waiting for the official announcement but for the time being we have a few leaked specs that just confirm this APO Micron glass f2 great a spherical fixed lens with integrated macro mode so this is confirmed that the q2 had already the macro mode this q343 will have it again bsi sensor with triple resolution 1836 or 60 megapixel same as the q3 with up to 8k video we don't really need 8k video but i don't know what leica intends to do with this 8k definition because like right now i'm using an a7c mark ii that shoots eventually native up to 7k but that means that if you're shooting in 4k you will have the automatic framing following you if i'm moving so now it's not active of course you will not see it moving but eventually it will have a frame within a frame 4k so this camera is capable of shooting 8k the q343 let's see what leica makes out of it because right now they're also having phase detect autofocus and tracking so it might be a good thing also for videos and then they say uh, hybrid af system pdaf contrast detection and object detection as we said great thing so if you intend to use it also for video you can you will not miss anything and then okay i don't see anything about the ois the leica q2 had an optical image stabilization within the glass so no eye beast in the camera body but in the glass and so uh, it was not good enough for shooting video but for stills it was a great help so you could go down to like 160th of a second handheld without the need of having a tripod this is a great thing especially when you're shooting at night with not much light out there because if you are around in the city and you don't have a tripod with you you might want to take shots handheld so if you don't want to pop that much the iso you need to go down with the shutter speed and so the ois was a great help i have a few shots i can show you i've taken uh, during night street photography in vancouver beautiful british columbia with the leica q2 let's see because this is not confirmed yet in the q3 if it's hadn't or not the ois let's hope it does 
And then he says, uh, you can have a fast and convenient connectivity with Photos app and eventually also uh, use the LUTs. It's not LUTs, it's simulations through the color uh, Leica app, which we saw already. They tried to put it in the Leica Photos app in smartphones. It didn't really change. It didn't really improve anything, but you might want to try it within your camera. So guys, what else to say? ISO range from 50 to 100,000, which I don't think nobody is ever going to use that high ISO, especially because the 60 megapixel resolution, I'm quite sure it doesn't manage that well. High ISO values, but maybe if you done, if you go down to 36 or 18 in low life, then it's grouping the pixels in order to use bigger ones, and that might have a better response to high ISO values and dynamic range. So I will be very curious to see this light Q343. They anticipated also a change in color. This is going to be a gray color as per the images that leak right here. I saw a few comments. There are people who love it. There are people who say this is gross, white gray. I honestly don't mind because I only look at the substance of the camera and this is going to be a great camera for a good price. So basically, uh, all the whole Q line, as I used to say, you pay for the class and it comes with a camera attached. So stay tuned because they are supposed to announce the camera right this week, September 26th. Stay tuned, we're gonna follow the launch in anticipation and eventually the pre-order of this beautiful camera and as soon as they release it, I will have to go. I will visit the Leica store in Milan to see if I can put my hands on it and let you know how it is. For what I can see, the camera body is exactly the same one as the Leica Q3 with a threaded shutter button with, uh, I imagine, the flip out screen and, and everything else and it also has the macro capabilities we are all used to. Let's clarify the only question mark is about the OIS. So with that, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please remember to like it, share it on social media, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the videos to come. And I guess I will see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.